Hi folks, Glyn Jewis here. Just a very, very quick video I thought we'd put together just to show you about my backing up system, which I've talked about a lot lately online and on my blog and on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna introduce you to a guy called Chris Fields from CHNO Technology. It's a friend of mine who's kind of helped out with the paranoia with my backing up. So uh, enjoy the video, and now you're gonna get to see exactly what I'm using to keep everything safe. Okay, so uh, I thought I'd put together a very, very quick video just to sort of show you what the backing up system is that I've been going on about so much lately, and also why I'm actually using that backing up system. But before we get started, just want to introduce you to a friend of mine called Chris Fields, who runs a company called CHNO Technology, based here in the UK. And it's Chris who works uh, in partnership, if you like, with this company here called CIU, who make the actual unit that I've gone for. Um, I suppose just a kind of quick overview of what we did here. Me and Chris kind of met up. Um, Chris asked me about what backing up system I had, and it was kind of like a, uh, well, I've got kind of a system. It wasn't the best. I've got I think some you, hard drives. <laughs> yeah, I've got some hard drives. Uh, so Chris has kind of sat down with me, found out more of what my workflow is, how I work, what I do, what I need, and he's kind of designed a system for me, didn't you? That's what yep. we did, basically. So, yep. um, And that's what I like about working with Chris. The system that we've gone for isn't an out-of-the-box. I think that's generally how you work with people. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no right way to do backups. Everyone is slightly different. Everyone has different needs. Right. So that's... That's the way I try and put a solution together for you. Good stuff. So you never kind of say that that solution there, if you're a photographer, that's what you need because no. everyone works differently. Absolutely. Now, the system that I've gone for, which is the one that Chris recommended for me, it's <coughs> not going to be suitable for everybody because, nope. like I say, everyone works differently. But I want to give you an overview because I have raved about it quite a lot, uh, exactly what I'm going for. Now, um, I've talked and I've heard all these things about NAS systems and RAID systems. Since I mentioned that I'd had my backing up system changed, people have said, why don't you go for a NAS system? Why have you gone for a RAID system? And I haven't got a clue. Give me Photoshop and I'm fine. Give me this stuff and I'm going to clue, which is why uh, I sort of call Chris. So Chris, what is the difference between a NAS and a RAID? What are they? A NAS usually uses RAID. RAID is Redundant Array of Inexpensive Discs, right. is, is one of the acronyms. Um, so basically it's a, a group of discs acting together to store your data across them and give you some um, integrity. So if one of these drives were to fail at any time, right. your data would still be accessible, readable and writable okay. um, without any outage to you. So, so this, is, this isn't my complete solution here, is it? This is basically um, what, I, what I used to do was all my, uh, let's say if I work in Lightroom, my catalogue and all my files, my raw files, my Photoshop files, would all be on the hard drive on the computer, mm -hmm. then I'd also have a backup. And that was probably all I had. I had all kinds of systems in the past. But what Chris got me to do was try this unit here, which is, uh, it's like you said, it's a RAID system. So there's got, I think we've got four, four dis yeah, discs there are in four, here. Four drives in there. Got four drives in with a lot of storage. These are, was it, three and a half inch discs with uh, one terabyte on each. So although I've got four in here, Chris, what, what basically is this allowing me to do so, in here? So with this unit, because you've got four drives in, it uses one of the, one capacity of the, one of the drives capacities as parity. So it, it separates or moves the data around across the whole unit. Yeah. So you actually have three quarters of the total disk size. So, so although I've got four one terabyte so you've got four disk, terabytes of disk in there, you've got three terabytes of usable storage. So what's the fourth one for then? The fourth one is, is used apparently, so all of the, say the data is spread across all four drives. Right. Um, by the machine, you don't get involved in that at all. Okay. Uh, this this looks like one big hard drive when yeah, you're yeah, when when you plugged it in. So, I mean, basically, I remember people always said to me that hard drives are in one of two states, mm -hmm. failing or about to Correct. fail. So this thing here then, what I, what I like about it is it kind of helps the paranoia that those photographers can have, that if any of these are about to fail, the system lets me know yep, it. you'll get a warning. And I can take one out, yep. replace it, yep. and one then still carry working. on. But even when I take one out, I can still access my stuff. You can still access your stuff. So that, that's what I really, really like. But this wasn't the complete solution, was no. it? We've gone for something On else. On its own, RAID isn't a backup. Um, obviously, if someone was to come into your house and steal your laptop, they're going to look at this and think there's some value there and steal that too. Yep. So you, you're without everything. Okay. And so that kind of leads me on to this one then. That's where we went for the backup unit. So that's this is what this is. This is like, <clears throat> this one at the bottom now contains everything that used to be on my computer is now on here. So and all those spare hard drives you had. And all those spare hard drives. So that's all on here. So then why did you recommend this, which is a two bay unit, yep. with the same three and a half inch, why did you recommend this one? Okay, so as I said with this, this is hot swappable, so you can take drives out if yep. they fail. That's the same thing with this. They're tough this as well. mirrored. <laughs> They're tough as well. It's mirrored, so the top drive and the bottom drive have got exactly the same data on them. Okay. Why, what's the point of that? 
coming onto that. So if first you've got the the protection if OneDrive fails, you've still got a copy of it. Yeah. But the other great thing about it is it allows you to do offsite backups. So while this is while this is running, you can pop out one of these drives, mm -hmm. replace it, allow the mirror to rebuild, but take that drive that you've taken out, put it into a case and take it off site. So I could, I, I could basically, you recommended I use a bit, a bit of software called Chronosync. Yep. I've mentioned before about using Super Duper, mm -hmm. but actually when you introduced me to Chronosync, I preferred it and that's- uh, About $40. About $40, that. you can buy and download it online. Um, so what I've actually done on your advice was to set it so that, uh, I actually got, it's probably way overboard, but I got every hour, Chronosync yep. looks on here and says, right, what uh, photo files have you got? RAWs, JPEGs, uh, PSD files. Yep. And it takes a copy of those, puts it onto here, so they're backed up. But I've also got it to do video, because we're yep. doing quite a bit of video now. All the video files are put on here as well. Mm -hmm. But the, the great thing is, and this is what, you know, this is all helping with that paranoia about backing up. This basically has three disks, but there's only two in at one time, Correct. isn't it? Yeah. So the, the third drive will be off-site somewhere, around a friend's house, another photographer's. Yeah. So if anything was to happen to these units, your house, your office, wherever these are based, you've always got that third drive to go back to and that will be containing everything you need to get back. So, so how often would you say? I would say do that once a week. Once a week, so if anything, if the worst happens, yeah, you, I'm only gonna be one week behind okay. with images. Brilliant, okay, so that's that kind of there. I mean, I've never had anything like this before. This is really kind of like helping with the backing up. However, <laughs> we did go one step further. <laughs> And that's this one here. <clears throat> now I'm sure we've done this. We've got these nice carry handles on the top here. I'm sure this one was just to make it look nice at the top. Finish it, off. it finishes it off, nice smooth <laughs> top. And this is a single bay. Yep. So this isn't for everybody. This is getting bigger and bigger now. It's like that game Jenga when you're building up and up and up. What? Why did you recommend me having so this, this one, one on top was, here? was really for um, retrieval of information. So if if at some point you decide to start archiving yearly, so you take off a lot of information. And, and split it into two drives, mm -hmm. one at home, one off, one off site. And you need to go back to 2009 to look at some photographs you took in 2009. You can take that 2009 archival disc, put it into here and view it. Cool, all right, good stuff. So that's all here. We've talked about the, the main sort of system when I back up at home or mm -hmm. in the office. This is where I can actually store stuff off site. Yep. We hear a lot of talk about um, <coughs> storing online nowadays, the cloud storage, and I know the recent news Within the last few days, actually, Google have announced price. I think ten pounds or ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars for a terabyte. For a terabyte of storage online. What's your thoughts about using the cloud storage? Because it's another way that we can help with that paranoia. But what do you reckon? Well, potentially you've got three terabytes in here. You could, in fact, go up to fifteen terabytes in this unit if you wanted to. Right. But even with three terabytes, to get three terabytes into the cloud, it's going to take weeks, especially at your house. Um, it's Terrible going to take forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's not the best way forward for for a photographer who's creating huge files and large amounts of files, right. especially someone like a wedding photographer yeah. who might be taking a thousand raw images a week. I suppose you're never going to get time it's, to be able to, to back up and catch count. up online. But but there is another way of of, of using using cloud storage though. Um, use something like Smogmog to have a, a a backstop really for yeah. for JPEGs. They they give you unlimited. Uh, storage for JPEGs yeah. in the cloud. So it's so not ideal. It's not because it's a JPEG. No. However, it's it, it gives you that, that your images are still real safe. backup. If if everything else goes, you've always got that. Yeah, to I, I didn't even know that, and <laughs> I've got a SmugMug account that I can update <coughs> as much well unlimited files, like Chris says there, up to SmugMug. They're going to be JPEGs, but I upload the biggest size JPEG I can possibly have, so at least I've got access yeah. to them there. Okay, so that's. Um, <coughs> That's home, office, off-site, and cloud, touched yep. on that. One other thing, because I travel a lot, um, we're going to the States soon, we've got Netherlands uh, coming up. Uh, I've got to have make sure that my files are there and they're nice and safe, I don't lose them, but also I shoot a lot outdoors, uh, shooting tethered in the studio, I like to have a backup, and you recommended this little unit here, I so. Did. So this is the smaller brother of, of the two base system we've got right. here. Okay. So this is, um, instead of the three and a half inch drives, this is two and a half inch drives, so we've got two um, drives in here. Um, now we can go up to, at the moment, one terabyte in, in these drives, so you can have a terabyte mirrored system here. Um, I, I heard yesterday that um, Samsung have released two terabyte drives. Um, <laughs> can't get hold of them yet, but they won't be far away. Um, and these drives can be popped out very easily, um, no tools required. So if one of these drives fails, you've always got 
the second disc to rely on. Mm -hmm. And the same thing as with this, you can pop one of these drives out, put a new drive in, and take one drive and leave it elsewhere as, as a backup, mm -hmm. uh, an off-site backup, if you like. See, this here is perfect for me because when I go away, certainly when we go to the States coming up soon, I'm going across there with, uh, with Dave, you know, my mate Dave Clayton. Uh, what I'm going to do is, because I had a scenario happen when I first taught at Photoshop mm -hmm. World and I'm sat there with my computer the night before my class <clears> and it just completely played up. I couldn't access my files. It was serious panic and I was going to throw the computer out the window and kind of Dave tactfully left the room as I was sort of coming out with all kinds of expletives. But this thing here would have been perfect because now what I'm going to do is all my files that I need, all these Photoshop files that I'm going to use on classes, I'm going to drag over onto this. So then because it's this RAID 1 that I've learned about now, these are then going to be identical disks yep. in here. So when we travel, I'm then going to sort of uh, go across to um, uh, give one of these to Dave in this like um, plastic, plastic anti-static yep. cases. Dave will have this one in his bag. I'll have all this with the other disc in my bag. So if anything happens and we kind of, uh, either he loses his or I lose mine or whatever, then there's always going to be one there that's going to be back it up, which is great. But and, also... And as, a, as an extra precaution, you could courier a, a third drive out there. That's really paranoid though, isn't it? <laughs> that's seriously <laughs> paranoid. But what also, what I like about it, let's say if I lost this unit here, which is where the drives go into, not a problem because on the back here, I can just get a normal uh, starter cable, yep. plug it in the back, plug it into the computer and I can still access everything. So yeah. this is a real kind of uh, paranoia. But you said that this could be the solution for most people. For, for a lot of people, two terabytes of, uh, of storage for photographers is, is gonna be sufficient. So yeah, that would be ideal for a lot of guys. Um, Perfect. And, and that, we can actually get an adapter that, that allows this drive to go into the, the bigger enclosure if we want So if to. I wanted to take stuff away, I could just rather than yeah. playing around with cables, yeah. I just shove it in yeah, there. So there you go. Uh, what else can I say? This, this is, like I said, this isn't for everybody. You know, it's like that thing that gets built and bigger and bigger and bigger. This, this is the this is the full solution. This is the full solution. We can, we can make this a lot bigger by putting bigger drives in, mm -hmm. but that's that's about as complicated as it gets. But but that's that's really the purpose of this video is to show you what I'm using because I've talked about it a lot and a lot of people have asked you know what are you using and why are you using it. So that's the purpose of this video. But it was also to introduce you to Chris. Um, because Chris not only does all this kind of stuff, I mean, he's a, I'm nicknaming him the doctor because he's kind of helping me out with my backing up system and lots of other stuff as well. Because you run a blog as well, yep. and what, what, what kind of stuff do people find on your blog? All sorts of things. I, I do uh, have any tips for Max that I find. Um, I, do, I do a lot of email hosting as well. So Sorted that out for me? Yeah, well. sorted that out today. Cool. So people are getting lots of spam, I can sort that out for them. All right, so where, where can people find so, more of you? My website is www.chnl.co.uk uh, and also on YouTube as CHNL Technology Ltd. Facebook, Google Plus. Facebook, Google I'll Plus. put all the links in the description. Yeah. He's everywhere, basically. But uh, definitely check him out. It's Chris Fields over at CHNO. But this is my system, and yeah, keep an eye. You'll probably see more of this stuff, especially this when I'm out on location. But there you go. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you next time.